So how do you get nice, clean metal like this so you can TIG weld, so you can paint, or whatever you need to do? Because let's face it, you don't want to paint or weld on anything like this. We'll find out in just a moment. I'm Tim Johnson. You're watching Shop Tour Reviews. Okay, so the process typically looks like this. You get in your hot rolled steel, it's got mill scale all over it, you put it in the shop for a while, it gets rust all over it. When it's time to use it, what do you gotta do? You gotta break out the grinder, you gotta break out your flat disc or your iron oxide disc and, uh, or aluminum oxide disc and go to town on you know, grinding off that old mill scale uh, and rust that happens to form on these things. Actually, the, the mill scale is actually already on there, then the rust starts to form over time and again, you gotta clean all that off and if you know what I'm talking about, which you probably do if you do any welding, when you start cleaning off that mill scale, you've got that nice new flat disc. It starts cleaning off really well. And then a couple of minutes into it, you notice, man, this thing's not working. Well, it's actually clogging up that disc. It's clogging up uh, that sandpaper, if you will, and it's no longer doing the work that it used to do. So what is mill scale? Well, I'm not gonna get into scientific terms, but basically it's junk. It's all the junk impurities that actually floats to the exterior of the steel during that molten process. So not only is it trash, but it's laid there during the molten process. So it's naturally binding to that steel. So it's not going to let go easily. Uh, you're not going to be able to burn it off. Um, you're not going to be able to just kind of lightly sand it off. You've really got to get after it and either grind it off really hard or there's another easier way to do this. And again, when you got bigger pieces, it may be a little more difficult, but there's ways around that as well. Um, you can get one of two things. There's probably actually several things that'll work, but as far as what'll take off the mill scale and the rust, uh, one easy thing is white vinegar. So white vinegar is not quite as corrosive, uh, it takes a little longer. The other is muriatic or muriatic acid. Um, you can find this not only in the big box stores, but you can also find this at your pool stores. Your pool stores have muriatic acid. It may be a little cheaper. You may be able to buy it in bigger bulk as well. Be extra, extra careful with this. Um, it's not so much that it gets on your skin, which it will get on your skin, and it, it might burn a little bit, but it'll come off. Um, it'll feel real slippery, so you'll know when it gets on you. Um, but it will wash off, and so it's not great for you in that terms, but where it's really bad for you is breathing this. So once you start using this, when it's off-gassing, I believe it's off-gassing chlorine, if I'm wrong on that, uh, whatever, but it's, it's off-gassing something that's not good for you to breathe at all. So make sure you've got it ventilated. Make sure that you're outside. Um, I did this inside in a small batch. I wasn't doing a lot of big stuff. When I'm doing bigger stuff, I do it outside. There's no reason to do it. Only, only reason I did it in here is, I, again, I made a, a small quantity you know, in a, in a small bowl to do some small pieces just to show this. That's where my cameras and lights are. Um, but again, I had a big fan actually drawing all, this, uh, all the exhaust out of the building, all the big shop doors open um, to clear the air. So. Let's see how well this works. In fact, I meant to put this in when I first started talking. So here's a nasty, rusty piece of, of angle that's been around the shop since I don't know how long. Um, so I'm going to drop that in there while we're talking here, and we'll look and see what happens to that. And by the way, this is the same stuff that's already cleaned the rest of the stuff you're sitting here. Um, and it will continue to work. You'll see it'll actually you know, degrade over time. And as the more stuff you do things, uh, the more it will degrade. But it, it will keep working, and, and don't assume uh, the, the toxicity or the, uh, or the acid has actually calmed down so it's because it's actually still working. Um, but as you can see here, after a few minutes, I mean, it's eating all the mill scale off. It's eating all the rust off. This is ready for a quick scuff and a paint. I'm saying scuff. I mean, you know, if you wanted to hit this with 220 or if you just want to hit it with paint already, um, you see some grinding marks when I first tried to grind it with the grinder and grind that mill scale off. But otherwise, really clean metal. Also, we could be able to hit this really quick with some acetone. We could use our TIG welder. Um, TIG welder is something you don't want to be welding on something like this. On something where you've got your mill scale, where you've got your rust, just not a good way to use your TIG welder. It's just not, not, not as forgiving as, say, a MIG or a stick. Um, so you can't do that. You've got to have nice, clean metal. So using this muriat muriatic acid um, and, and using uh, this type of solution, if you will, um, it's going to clean that really quick. I think it, in less than five minutes, it took it from you know, looking like this with rust on it um, to this right here. And by the way, after you get it out, make sure that you either 
hit it with a little oil or be ready to actually do something with it because it will start rusting right away. Um, but you see again, you know, these pieces that we stuck in there, you saw it. I may have sped it up a little bit to, to actually see it work in a shorter time frame, but it was just a few minutes. It was no more than, I know it was no longer than 10 minutes. I think it was even less than five minutes to, to actually see it going to work. Um, and by the way, you may say, you know what? I don't have a, you know, a long skinny um, vat of some sort to, to soak these in. We'll make one. It's real easy to do so. Take you a cardboard box, take you some cardboard boxes, use a hot glue gun, use a staple gun, use some tape and just make you a tray, if you will. Line it with some Visqueen and you're good to go. Even line it with a trash bag. Again, be careful you know, not to puncture holes in it so it's actually leaking muriatic acid out. But there's ways to do this. And, and again, if you're, if you're uncomfortable using the muriatic acid, then use the white vinegar and just plan on leaving it overnight or leaving it several hours and it will work just fine. It's gonna eat this off uh, probably just as well. It's just gonna take it a little longer. So there are easier ways than grinding disc and ruining your you know, $6 flap wheel um, on mill scale to try to get it off. Especially like I'm about to do a welding project and I'm gonna go through about 40 feet of this uh, one by two and uh, some plate steel as well, some flat bar. I don't want to use a grinding disc and grinding out all that off. Um, I'm kind of probably burn through, you know, 20, 30 bucks in, in uh, flap disc as well as it's going to take me hours of time to do that. So I'm just going to use a solution like this and uh, actually let it eat it off. And as you can see here, you see how well that's cleaning it. Like I said, that solution's already cleaned several of these and that was some old angle iron with some nasty, deep, rusty pits and also still have the mill scale on it. And it's eating that away. And as I mentioned, be very careful with this. This is just water here to uh, kind of deactivate that or to, uh, um, what do they call it? Yeah, you got an acid in a base. Neutralize it, that's it. Um, baking soda will work well as a neutralizer as well, but uh, water will as well. So just make sure you rinse really well. And like I said, when you get it on your skin, it'll feel real, really slick. So you'll know when it's, uh, when it's on there. So that's the easy way to get good and clean steel um, so that you can weld with it, so that you can paint it, whatever you need to do. If you don't mind, keep track of us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Hit that like and subscribe button and even that bell notification, because then we're going to notify you of future videos. Have a great day. Go out and do something nice for someone.